Hello, and welcome to the Armanus channel. Just starting a brand new series on a new channel. I want to kind of build the Armanus name, so I figured new channel, new game, you know, start fresh. Start over. And what I'm going to start with is I just got Medieval Engineers. I started yesterday, and I wanted to share my first build with everybody. Now, as you can see, I've got a little cottage here. You know, just a little cabin. Uh, and it, as you can see in the back, too, there's the starter castle. It's a little destroyed. I'll go over that in a second. But I just wanted to start smaller with the, the more wooden structures, The uh, what I feel are the easier to build structures, because I have a background in carpentry. I have a background in home construction. So I figured for me, for the structural integrity and all that, this would be the good place to start. So let's, uh, let's go take a look. And as you can see, we've got the front porch here, a couple of chairs for... When you've got visitors, you know, you sit around, talk about it. You can't use the chairs yet, but uh, it, nice little touches. I like using doodads. I like to uh, uh, decorate more and make things look better. You go inside, first off, you see is my little storeroom. You know, you've got all, all these barrels. Uh, they're not... I didn't set them down as free-floating, so they don't sit on each other the way I'd like. I was having a little trouble with the free floating whenever I'd put them down and try and like nudge them into place by moving forward. They'd always take out that back wall. The the physics are good in this game. I love the physics in this game, but they're still a little little high, a little too much. Now, these don't work as storage, but they look like it, which is great. I've got torches everywhere. They don't actually seem to give much of any light. There's no real indoor lighting in this game yet, but I figured in the long run they will be. And when I play Space Engineers, I, I like to play survival PvP online. So that's kind of how I'm going to be building. There's a lot of different things you can do in the creative mode that seem kind of counterintuitive that I'm going to try and avoid. Like in the beginning of Space Engineers, you could put engines behind engines because there was no engine damage. So I'm trying to avoid, like in the long run, when engines do come around, breaking things. I still want to be able to use them. Well, let's take a look around. We've got our main hall here where, you know, you get a little dining table for you and all your friends. Uh, this has room for, you know, another table, a few more chairs if more people show up. A uh, little dance floor area. I like I like things open. I like things big. I was kind of going for an old barn style, an old barnyard house sort of style, and hence the loft up there, and I'll, and I'll get up there in a second. A lot of light, a uh, window up there near the roof, because I, I just, I like how that looks. Um, and, in, and in real life, you'd want to vent your roof to, to uh, prevent you know, your shingles decaying over time. It helps, but that, that's more real life. It doesn't actually matter. Over here, we have a little cook station. Now, I've got my little cooking oven attached to my chimney going up. And uh, it doesn't look like much, but I feel it looks like an actual cooking fire. You know, you go in here, you throw your, your loaf of bread in there or whatever, and you pull it out. And a little prep table, and a little bit of storage for the cook, and obviously some more lighting for him as well. More storage over here for him as well. Out the back door here, we have a back porch with a little little fenced-in area. I, I tried to mess with the soil. It's terraforming. It doesn't paint as well as I'd like, but I, I got some soil down. You know, and this is a nice little place for a garden uh, in the long run, so your, your, your little your little house can sustain itself, because in medieval times and older times in farming communities, it, you had to be self-sustaining, so that's, you know, that, that was the idea behind this. Obviously, it does need to get flattened, and it does need more soil and maybe a little bit areas, but for a good little starter garden, maybe you're, you're a brand new frontiersman, you're getting out here. This is perfect. This is good for you. You know, you can you set down a little bit of your corn and, you know, some of your potatoes and... And what have you, you know, you, you get yourself started along your way. Over here, we have the stairs up upstairs. Now this room, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with. What I was thinking I would do with it is, for starters, make it a little spare bedroom. I haven't set that down yet. Or it could also be used as more storage space. It's just a little, little tiny loft area. And then through here, we have what is going to be my little loft bedroom. And uh, you know, you've got a little bed, little side table, window overlooking the the mountains. You can see the castle in the background, not very well. A little too tall, crouched down. Oh, there it is. See that nice decrepit castle. A little more storage space for you know, in the room. You know, I, I like the barrels. They they take up space. They look good. And a little desk for you know, writing, for you know, a little den area. And you can still see down over the house area. 
you're just like a barn style loft and I really like it I really enjoy it uh, I think it looks very good now let's go back outside to show you what I am most proud of now to keep in mind I made this house after playing the game for about two hours uh, the first house that I made is locked in a save file that crashes whenever I load up uh, so I can't really show you that but this is a pretty close representation of that building it was a quick remake um, now there is still some some adding functions you know you, you put in your roof and it does the overhang and there are some areas where it doesn't really work now going this roof going into that roof it doesn't work there above doors seems uh doors and well no maybe not doors but windows seems to to have that problem well it did there but not here but anyway on to what i'm most proud of and that's the top of the chimney a lot of people don't really think of it but you can't really have a chimney going straight up and open the to the world and in real life rain would come down it would get in there so what I've done is I put a little a uh, little roof on it I could have just left it at one straight but I, I like the cross look I feel it uh, fits it better and you've got your vents out the side so smoke can increase and it's high enough where the smoke is not and the smoke and the heat are not gonna be pounding against the roof you know making that even better and, and I'm very happy with how the chimney came out uh, I'm I'm pretty happy about how the building came out. There are some structural integrity problems on the ends. If you'll notice here on the on this end where where it's so high, and on the right side I've got the loft and I've got some other structural there, but on the left where there isn't much, obviously it's it's kind of heavy there. I'm worried in the long run of of that breaking down, but if it's stable now, it's stable. I tried a few different ways to add structural integrity one of them were was using these these posts I can't really tell if it does a lot but right here in the house this this stone post does really well now the problem overall with the structural integrity is there's not much you can do to add to it as I found out the hard way where is it the these small little posts that you can make they're called or, or there, I believe the name for them is the free floaters or uh, uh, free floating items. Uh, think of them as like your small ships in Space Engineers. You can't attach small ships to big ships, so I could put posts, these little posts, all over the place, all the way up to the ceiling. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to attach. Now, I believe that these posts will, because as you can see, they do attach to the big blocks, and you can rotate them around. But no matter how many I added to this end wall, it didn't seem to do much for it. So I just took them away, you know, to, to help with the aesthetics, uh, just to kind of see how it goes. Building in this game is, is very fun. It's rather intuitive, especially if you already know Space Engineers. It, except for maybe the wall and wall. That's a new thing, like these corners and, and all, uh, obviously all these in, interior walls, they have to be coming out, they have to be attached to the floor and, and you know, corner and corner and... And here, there's there's the corner piece and the roof piece, and those are connected together. And, and over here, these are all connected together, and it's all block and block. And it works very well. And you just hold Alt, or like what I like to do is you can press C to switch between the modes. You know, you, I like to press C, go into the mode, press C again to get out of it. Because usually, if you're going to be working in block and block, you're going to be working in block and block for a while. And that's just what I found easier for myself. Obviously, it's different for everybody. Either way, this is my first little home, my first little cabin. I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, I feel it was a good start to the game. It gave me a lot of insights as to how things work. Um, moving on from that, now what happened to the castle? As you can see, she's a little messed up. Just, <laughs> just a little bit. If you've seen this castle fully made, it's pretty impressive now. It's, uh, it's pretty junked out. Now, I wish I could have shown you... One of the ways I took it down, but I loaded up my game, and the little platform I had made, and the little catapult that I had built off of it, it was just in pieces. I didn't, I didn't do anything to it, I didn't change it, it was just a simple tension rope uh, catapult, pull back, launch, boom, and, and it just, I loaded up and it was gone. So I can't show you that firing, uh, what I did end up doing is getting very, very pissed off at at getting the catapult to work. It's it's not as intuitive as you would think. There are some things that are broken, uh, some things that don't quite work the way you'd think they would. Um, one of them being, one of the things that are currently broken is ever since they changed the catch blocks for the end pieces, for your, 
for your uh, for your um, your axles and whatnot. Ever since they added in the different variations, the uh, the locking catch block has been broken. You can use this lever all you want. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't catch it. Doesn't lock it. But what the catch block still does do is when you pull back, it will hold the rope in place. I tried uh, using an axle out of just the plain ones. Didn't work so well. But with the actual catch block, even without the lever, it would hold it back um, so that I could at least cut the rope to launch my projectiles to work on the castle. And like I said, eventually I just got pissed off and started throwing large 10 times mass cannonballs at this end. As I'm sure you've seen in other videos or if you've looked at other places, you can definitely see that the crumbling and the physics and all that is just beautiful. I really wish I could have shown that. But it's not going to be very often that I'm, at least for right now, going to be able to make videos of the actual builds themselves. I'm going to post end products, but not so much during gameplay. If you want to see the gameplay, if you want to see the builds, I do stream on Twitch TV. The link for that will be in the description below. And you can come watch me uh, build. You can come hang out, uh, make suggestions, tell me what you want to see. Uh, and, you know, if, if nothing else, just come hang out and chit-chat. That's what most people do with a game like Space Engineers. There's not a whole heck of a lot of action, but it's still fun to stream and watch and, and hang out with folk. I've already made some friends just in the, in the small amount of time I've been streaming this, and it's it's been a, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a blast. It's It's been an absolute blast. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the game. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, hit the subscribe button. Come check me out on Twitch. There will be links for that and my Facebook for Armanus Gaming in the descriptions below. And I hope to catch you next time. Thank you for stopping by.